everyone and welcome to a new video on Byte of Geek. Today, well, I'm taking a look at another five awesome blueprints for Home Assistant. So let's check them out. Okay, so you guys absolutely loved my previous video on Home Assistant blueprints. Uh, it was new to me, something very new to uh, obviously an awful lot of you as well. And um, you know the feedback I've had on that, really, really good, that video. So I've had a look at uh, some of the latest blueprints that are on there. And as I say, I've got five more which have really caught my attention. So I'm gonna go through those with you today. So the first blueprint on my list, quite an appropriate one really, given uh, what I got on Black Friday. Um, so if you're not subscribed to the channel, do so now because a video on the Drayton Wiser um, smart heating system will be coming up soon. But this is from uh, a user on Home Assistant called Panhands, and this is the Advanced Heating Control Blueprint. And um, basically, uh, well, you know, if you've got one of the uh, the number of smart heating systems on the marketplace, then this is the kind of blueprint that you want to be using. So whilst many of these systems come with an app uh, that enables you to do various bits of functionality, um, you know, really they don't have a, a huge amount of features. You know, some of them are, are quite limited. Some of them require the cloud. Uh, some of them you've got to pay extra for in order to get some of these things. So with this uh, blueprint, you've got things like open window and door detection. Um, you know, you've got your away modes and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, these are things I say, you know, you would you would expect to pay kind of like a premium for with some of the systems that are on the marketplace at the moment. You've also got the ability to have things like uh, use your presence sensors so it'll you know, know when you're actually uh, in a particular room and you know maybe you can go and have it uh, turn on your smart TRVs uh, to turn the temperature uh, temperature up in the room for you. Uh, you've also got things like um, you know holiday modes, away modes, that type of thing as well, uh, which is really useful. You know if you're going to use um, you know your uh, home assistant configuration to determine whether you are actually in the house or whether you're getting close to the house or not. And a really nice feature is to be able to uh, calibrate your TRVs using um, you know, another temperature sensor that you've got in your house. So one of the things uh, that you find out when you um, get one of these smart systems, certainly if you get smart TRVs, is because they are so close to your radiator, your heating system, that the overall temperature will be affected by that. So um, a really good, useful blueprint. Um, you know, I'm going to be playing around with this um, with my new uh, Drayton Wiser installation. So um, yeah, let's see what that works out like. Okay, so next uh, blueprint on the list is one called Party Lights uh, from someone called Anton H. And um, yeah, you know, quite an interesting one. Uh, you know, if you're the type of person to be having parties all the time in your house, then this may well be the blueprint for you. Um, you know, your smart bulbs and smart lighting can do so much more than just turn on and off. Um, you know, if you're going to have a bit of a, a disco in the house, then uh, why not use your smart lights for that? Um, you know, you can have it, uh, you know, use this blueprint to go and, uh, you, you know, set uh, random colours. You can have them all in sync as well. Um, you know, you can have them just change between the R, the, you know, red, green and blue. Um, so, you know, nice configuration options available there. I think the only thing and probably a bit of a stretch to go and expect that in this kind of integration at the moment is that there is no um, way to go and sync with any kind of music that's playing. But who knows, you know, maybe somebody will come up with something like that in the future. So staying on the theme of lighting, this next one is um, a wake up light um, alarm with sunrise effect. And it's from uh, SBYX there. I think I actually had a, a blueprint on the last video. Um, but yeah, you know, if you've not got, um, you know, maybe uh, smart curtains or shades, whatever, you know, and you, you want to wake up to, uh, you know, that kind of like sunrise effect, this is probably the blueprint for you. So um, you're gonna need uh, dimmable and um, you know warmth dimmable color controllable light bulbs for this um, but basically you can set 
uh, you know, a kind of like a, a, a point where your alarms to, to go off and, and it will basically, you can have it configured to um, give you a sunrise effect and it will, it will start out dim and it will change the brightness and the warmth as the time goes on, going all the way through to the full brightness. So if you like waking up to a, a sunrise in the morning, especially when you're um, maybe in a part of the world where it's, um, you know, dark and miserable this, this time of the year, then this is probably the blueprint that you should be looking for. Okay, so um, this next one, uh, again, another one which is a bit relevant to me because I've just gone and bought a temperature sensor or temperature and humidity sensor for my bathroom. Um, so this is bathroom humidity exhaust fan uh, from Blackie, um, quite a um, creator of blueprints on Home Assistant. And uh, this is a nice configurable one. So if you've got an exhaust fan in your bathroom, uh, a lot of us do, um, you know, you take a shower or something like that and you've got all that steam in the in the bathroom. Obviously, humidity has gone through the roof. Um, most of us probably have one that goes on and off with a switch or, you know, maybe you've got a pull cord, something like that. Um, well, you know, if, you, if you're extremely lucky, you might have one that's actually got a humidity sensor built into it. But if you haven't got one of those, then uh, you should be looking at using this blueprint to try and integrate that uh, extractor fan into your smart home ecosystem and um, you know you can set all the various levels that the um, the fan's going to come on and go off um, you you can set it to uh, you know when you get to the winter months to do a different kind of schedule um, you know really really configurable um, you know obviously extractor fans really don't have any smart functionality built into them uh, I've not seen one on the, on the market really um, that's probably worth you know kind of like paying a, a price for um, so you're probably going to have to either have this on some kind of smart switch or maybe you use like you know one of the little son off um, you know devices to actually go in your switch to go and enable the um, you know the extractor fan part to, to be smart e either way it's going to have to be controllable via something like that uh, in order to work but um, you know bathrooms are probably quite overlooked uh, in terms of integration into your smart home because uh, there really isn't an awful lot that you can do in there but having an extractor fan that is quite smart I think that's uh, quite a nice idea there and the final blueprint out of these five uh, so this is from somebody called Matty24 uh, so I haven't really seen an awful lot from them in terms of blueprints but this is um, one that's called Advanced Medication Reminder. Now, the reason why I've pulled this one out is because, you know, I've seen a number of posts over, you know, the last six, nine months or whatever, where people are setting up home assistant for the elderly parents, you know, whatever that configuration is, you know, they've got something that is actually set up, um, you know, to either, you know, for, for the, the child, you know, to be able to remotely do things or whatever for their parents or you know for some basic things for the parents to have automated around the house um, but inevitably as we get older uh, we all start taking some level of medication and um, you know you can get apps that you can download uh, that will do these kinds of things some of them you've got to pay for um, but this is quite a nice simple straightforward one that you can put into home assistant you set up your schedules and you can get notifications come up on your mobile app and um, you, know, you can see the full history uh, within a home assistant as well. So obviously you've got to remember, uh, you know, you've got to actually physically take the medication. But, um, you know, having those reminders, I think, is a, is a real benefit for those of us, uh, you know, who are either taking the medication or have got parents that are, uh, elderly and taking medication. So there you go guys, those are five more awesome blueprints for Home Assistant. I'll put links down below for all of those if you want to go and check them out directly. Uh, I'll also put a link for you to go straight to uh, the blueprints overall, so if you want to go and have a look at the rest of them are available. But um, you know, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. You know, What do you think of these blueprints? What do you think of the blueprints overall within Home Assistant? You know, were you aware of these at all 
um, you know, but uh, if, if you've enjoyed this video, then don't forget to uh, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. But as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.